It's next week. Hello, everybody. All right. Lost. What you've seen. Passion is... That's... That's Anna. Yeah. And superstition is what's her butt. Dean, we should actually possibly go meet with her to go give her Who's the map. Who's standing we... out there? Yeah, it... She's holding it. She's holding blueprints. Yeah, we should probably give her the map we told her. Should we? Because we, we copied it for her. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't know if we can do that on, on, on one meeting. Because, but anyway, um, let's 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 uh, kill Yar. I've got something for you. And envelope from the facility. Oh, these are the results from the tests and I ran, ran in my blood. Oh, we didn't get those last time around. Uh-uh. Hmm. She must have sent this before she was... No, it's no use thinking about that now. Maybe the test results will be able to help us. Let's see. Remarkable similarities in genetic makeup, particularly the brain structure. Oh, right, 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 right. Last time around, we went on a date with Anna and she told us the results before she died. This mm. must be the result of what happens if you don't have that scene with Anna. <laughs> oh, I suppose this isn't the only reason you're here. The chief will explain everything once we get there. Let's not keep him waiting, shall we? Right, we're dating Bryce. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, this is this is this is this is when Bryce died last time around. Uh, uh sure. No, this is the, this is the hatchery, hatchery where the eggs were stolen. Yes. It's not until a, later that we track down the eggs and Bryce dies. Yeah, okay. As you wish. Zoop. As you wish. Alright, yes. If anything, with you there, we might be able to convince him to give up. Or, we could act like we intended to trade you for the eggs if he tries to use them as a bargaining chip. You're not really going to use me as a ransom, right? We'll see about that. I suppose if it's necessary, I'll have to play along. All right, I'm also Bryce. Yes. (laughs) I've got your back. If there's one thing we could do to make this whole situation even worse, it would be messing up with you. We have the element of surprise if we walk into his base right now. But we risk Reza lashing out with his weapon. If we want to resolve this peacefully, observation is probably the way to go. I guess you won't need Zani there for that, though. True enough. Alright, Zani, you stay here and wait for further instructions. We may need you at a moment's notice. Don't do anything without just telling you to, understand? Uh, yeah, sure, great. Alright then, let's go, Sebastian. After you, Chief. And Maverick, good job. Thanks, Chief. Shortly after they vanished, Maverick also turned to leave. Wait, whoa, what? this is the... A... Ah. Uh-oh. What is that red There's, mark? That's it's the, the drop blood. of blood. The drop of blood. Yeah, but Tell Maverick that to wait. somebody dies? <laughs> sure. Wait. He stopped and waited for a few seconds. What do you want from me? Do you have something against humans in general, or is it just Reza and me? Do you think you're superior to us because of your wings and teeth and claws, your fire? Or is it just jealousy or projected hate? I know the first day I met you, you were all hung up on people paying attention to us because we're human. I can assure you, there's nothing about us to be jealous about. Our world is a wasteland. He closed the door before he turned back around to face me. You're really playing that innocent role, aren't you? Now you're offering yourself as a bargaining chip for Reza. At this rate, even I might start to believe you if I didn't have a reason not to. If I were with Reza, it would be much easier for me to pull a gun on you too, the day you were shot. But I didn't even bring one when I came to the portal. Plausible deniability. Or, as we like to say, good cop, bad cop. If Reza's plan fails, you and the rest of humanity can disavow Reza's actions as his own and still go through with the trade as agreed, and Reza would be dealt with, however. Yet if Reza's plan succeeds, you will have given us nothing and still have gained what you wanted. If Reza got away, you'd still have me, though. 
if your world is a wasteland, don't you think losing you is a price they would gladly pay? Eric's words made me think. Did I really have the complete picture before I stepped through the portal? I guess that would explain why I got the job in the first place. Besides, Reza only stole the things humanity wants, so he's clearly not just doing this for himself. His actions only started after that confrontation with you, though. I mean, none of this was planned. Don't be stupid. Do you think I have forgotten about the secret message he sent you? I still don't know what he would have told me that day if you hadn't interrupted us. He wanted to discuss his plans with you. Only after I found out about the secret message he sent to you did I realize that all the messages sent back and forth between the portals could have been similar even before your arrival. When the police searched Razor's apartment, of course none of these older letters could be found. Those did not have any secret messages. Is that so? None that I knew of, at least. When he sent me that secret message, I initially had no idea how to read it. But you knew it was a secret message? Yes. But that is not true for the messages he sent before you came through the portal? I don't think so. Maybe those messages weren't intended for you, then. We're not that different, you know. What are you talking about? I reached into my pocket. I still have that? I don't know how long it's been. I pulled out the wrinkled piece of paper and showed it to him. According to these test results, humans and dragons show remarkable similarities for different species from different evolutionary lines in completely different worlds. Why do you think I care about that? It wouldn't make a damn difference to me if other dragons came through the portal instead of humans. I was the only one who followed Reza and knew something was off, but all of my concerns were swept away in the wind. It was never about you being human. It's about my people not hearing my pleas and the leniency they are willing to show you, all in the name of fostering this diplomatic relationship. But you two came in here and strutted around like you owned the place as you tore my home apart. The blood of those who died is on the hands of everyone who allowed this to happen. If they have listened to me in the first place, maybe I'd have caught Razor that day I was wounded, and things would look very different right now. I agree. Then why do you blame me for suspecting you? All this time I've just been helping the police. So have I. Maybe they'll finally catch Razor and we'll see how all this turns out. Wait a minute. You had Anna perform those tests for you? It was more the other way around. She was the one who wanted to study my blood. Sadly, I'm not surprised that you had those tests done. She can be ruthless when she wants something. What did she do to get your blood? She asked nicely for it. Very ruthless indeed. <laughs> she asked nicely. Nothing else in this world right now could be worth more than samples of your blood, and you just gave them to her. You know what? Maybe I was wrong. Even if humanity and Reza have cooked up a crazy plan, and even if they're willing to sacrifice either of you for their own gain, maybe you really have nothing to do with it. Maybe you are just clueless. It doesn't really matter much, though. After all, you have nothing to gain from me if I change my opinion of you. To me, proof is the only thing that really matters, so my feelings on the issue are not important. If you work with the police long enough, you just learn to take things as they are. Maybe with you, I'll have to admit that I was wrong. But I won't ever stop looking for those who are responsible for this, and if I find them, I will show no mercy. And I had to wait. Rise and Sebastian were observing the farm now, and if anything new happened, I would be the first to know. I spent some time looking around Bryce's office, studying all the material he had gathered about the case, though there wasn't any information that I didn't already know. After a few hours, the telephone in his office rang, and not sure whether the call was intended for me or Bryce, I picked up. Zori? Uh, yeah? I think you need to come here. I'll give you the directions. No problem. 
All right. Don't let Bryce go inside. I know. That's the goal. That's the plan. That's why we've been romancing him, so that we have the influence to make him not go inside and die. (laughs) Right. There you are. So, what happened? A whole lot of nothing. There's no movement to or from the building in the time we've been watching. He usually operates during the night, so maybe he's just asleep? In that case, it would be best for us to go in before he has a chance to make his escape. Or maybe he's not even in there anymore. He could have seen us and slipped away unnoticed, with plenty of time to destroy the evidence while we've been waiting here. You're right. Either he's still inside, or he's already gone and not coming back. Let's go in. Uh, what should I do? You're coming with me. Sebastian, you walk around and watch the back of the building, just in case he tries to escape. I'm on it, Chief. So, we have two options here. The first is that you stay here, and I go inside. This way, if Fraser tries to flee and sees you, it might throw him off. You might be able to stop him. Or if we get into a standoff, I can tell him you're here as well. And the second? You go in first, and I follow you. That one. This way, if we find him, maybe we can resolve things peacefully. You might be able to talk to him. And if it doesn't work out, you've got me and Sebastian nearby to stop him. I don't think he's planning to harm you on sight. And if we can hear the things starting to go wrong, we might still be able to surprise him. So, either way, we take him by surprise. I just have the option of talking to him first. I think you could pull it off. Maybe if you're there, you won't act as irrationally as he would if I was suddenly standing in front of him. I'm not going to force you if you don't want to do it, though. Yeah. Uh, of course we'll do it, because we know how the other option turns out. Yeah. Alright, let's go. We slowly made our way to the front door. I took a deep breath and tried to prepare myself for the possibility of facing Reza. The tense scenarios and things I could say to him rushed through my head as I pressed down the door handle. The door inched open with a creak, but I noticed a slight resistance and a strange sound that suddenly made me hesitate. When I looked down at the source of the noise, I saw a taut wire through the gap in the door, hovering over the floor of the entryway. That was a pretty close call, you know. Too bad Reza wasn't here after all. Maybe he ran when he saw us approach. Strange for him to leave everything behind, though. Everything he's stolen, all the generators are still here. Do you think the trap was for us in particular? Probably not. It was likely more of a general safety precaution. If he had any time to prepare for this, he would have taken the stuff with him. True enough. I had no idea you could make a bomb out of a generator. Then you just haven't been with us long enough. If you know how, it's not even that complicated. (laughs) And Reza somehow figured it out? Apparently so. Does he have any skills pertaining to engineering or electricity? Well, he's worked on cars before and fixes a lot of things back home. I guess that would qualify. He also could have done his own research. Either way, this makes him even more dangerous. At least we now have a whole building's worth of clues. Zani, can you get to your apartment from here? We'll be busy with this scene for a while. Uh, No problem. I'll leave you to your work then. Good job, Zani. Thanks. Yay, Bryce didn't blow up. Yay! I'm not dead yet! <laughs> Alright, we did We did much better. I'm surprised you called me back so quickly. How's the investigation going? Oh, the investigation is going swimmingly, but as you can expect, we need all the help we can get. As usual. With how this case has been going, we realize we must employ its external help. Oh? Yeah, we've requested assistance from one of the cities. We hope they'll send some good investigators our way soon. I see. We were so close today. He could have been in there, you know. Maybe we just came a few minutes too late. And if he knows how to make bombs from generators, who's to say he won't start using them elsewhere? At least he doesn't have any right now, does he? You said all the generators that were stolen are now accounted for. True. Still, this whole case is growing to be too much for a small town police department. I hope you'll get all the help you need. Me too. But right now you can help us again. Well, what do you have for me? When we searched the building, we found more than the things Reza stole. We also found this bloody bandage. 
Do you think that's his? That's what we need to find out. But given all that we know, it probably is. So he's wounded. We know he was injured during the fight with the first victim. But whether this is from the same wound or something else, I'm not sure. In any case, you could bring it to the lab for us to find out more. Sure. Next, we have a witness who reported hearing loud bangs during the night. We'd like to send someone to make a follow-up visit. You'll need to confirm the witness statement, then see if he has anything new to share. Also, now that we've reclaimed your PDAs, we're going to send one of them to the archives for analysis. Since they have experience with human artifacts, they're better suited to do it than any of our departments. No problem. And lastly, we have the eggs. It's a relief that we found them unharmed in the building. They're safe and ready to be sent back to the hatchery. Shouldn't we take care of those first? It's not as urgent as you might think. Our eggs are pretty resilient. Being in the care of the hatchery is more of an insurance than a requirement. Some people choose to keep them in their own home until they hatch, rather than having the hatchery take care of it. The hatchery has been notified, but they won't be able to send someone for a few hours. I've heard that they're really understaffed. If you bring the eggs and the paperwork to them, you'd speed up the process, but it's not urgent matter. I see. In any case, I'll just leave everything here until I get to it, so feel free to do these tasks as you wish. I know it's laughable we don't have a free hand for simple errands. Don't worry about it. By the way, are you planning to attend the summer festival? Should I? It's hard to think about something fun when I'm wrapped up in this investigation. For sure. It's important to take a short rest so you don't lose your head. There's so much to see at the festival, particularly the big fireworks. Dragons enjoy fireworks too. I would think something like that would feel so commonplace since many of you breathe fire. It's not quite the same. We still appreciate the wonderful color colorful bursts in the sky. On the last day, there's always a big fireworks show. Everyone usually attends it. Everyone? Yeah, it has a great tradition behind it. What peeves me most is that I'll be on guard on duty when it happens this year. So, I probably won't be able to see a thing. Oh, boy. We probably shouldn't encourage him to shirk his duty. But we also know that even with him on duty, Reza still gets the jump on him and he ends up dying. Mm -hmm. This 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 might be a way to save him. It might be. I think we should pick the option too. Alright. Are you suggesting I abandon my post during the fireworks? No, you don't have to abandon your post, but if you pick a good spot and watch them for like half an hour or so, no one's going to care. I'm not so sure about that. The guard post is pretty important. I know we're talking about the portal, but you don't need to take this so seriously all the time. Just think about it. The portal's broken right now anyway, and everybody will be busy watching the fireworks. Nothing's going to happen. I suppose you have a point. Just pick a spot, a good spot, and no one is even going to notice you're gone. Well, if you say so. Anyways, I should get back to the investigation now. I'll leave the stuff for you here. And I'll take care of the rest once I get back, alright? Sure thing. Good luck, Sonny. You too. Alright. So. I think we should take the eggs to the hatchery. Because that was, wasn't was even on, on the option list last time around. Yeah, which ones did we do last time? We visited the witness. It was Lorem's roommate. And he basically totally told us to buzz off. Um, although, hold on. Is is if, yep. is Lorem shanked? Lorem's still good. Lorem's, Lorem's yeah. not shanked. Lorem's not shanked. He said it's good. Oh, and all three of them are here. Um, okay. Cool. Lorem's I don't know how to interpret the tarot cards. I yeah, also knows? am not sure. Because I thought you only get like one a chapter. Yeah. The I, fact we have three here confuses us. Yeah, I don't. I I I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. Um. Anyway, um, we also uh, took the bandage to the facility, and they basically didn't give us a sh give a shit. Um, so I think we should do the, the take the ace of the hatchery, and then try take. We also could try visiting the witness. He might give us more information with Laura not with Laura not shanked. Yeah. Yeah. All right, hatchery. Sure. This is a cheap for this anyway. I think that Dean will be there too, right? Maybe. She works at the hatchery. 
she volunteers in the volunteers. hatchery sometimes. Yeah. yeah, but we also haven't talked to a team much this. Yeah, yeah. we haven't talked to her at all this this run. So let's let's do this. I was on my way to the hatchery when I heard a voice call out to me. Uh... Hello there. I turned around to see an unfamiliar face before me. Oh. It's male. Who, what? What is this? It's a furry dragon. Yeah. What the frack? It's a furry dragon. He's adorable. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> All right, not female. Who wants to take this one? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe, should I take it? Yeah. You should take it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How much to do this run? Mm -hmm. Uh, do I have any more distinctive voices? <laughs> uh, you should, I I don't know. Like, so, so we don't know this so. character's personality much yet. Like. I vaguely feel like this needs, like, the cool voice. Hey. I'm Kevin. <laughs> hey. Hey, bro. Hey. What's up, bro? I'm Kevin. Uh, Russian. I, I, I'll try to do the cool voice. Uh, Zani, nice to meet you. Could I perhaps interest you in our Midwest institution? Is this some kind of religious thing? <laughs> Not at all. It's a college. Sorry, but I already got my degrees. But you could have more. Yeah, I know. It was just a joke. Oh, so me going to college is a joke now. I'm not good enough, is that it? Your whole life is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Even if you wanted to stay there, I don't think you'll be with us long enough to make use of it. I think that came out wrong. You're lucky I won't take this He's the wrong way. He's gonna have you assassinated. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the only one. <laughs> Phew. So, you're a recruiter for this college? No, this is just my summer job. Once the semester starts up again, I'll actually be attending to get my degree in psychology. Who are you, and why do we care? College! Wonderful times. He's a psychology student, he just told us. Is that sarcasm? Maybe. I didn't even know you had colleges here, though. Now who's being insulting? <laughs> well, you do now. You should know that, that, they, that there are colleges we just met with Lorem. Right. Why'd you even approach me if you know I'm not going to college here? Don't tell me it's because I'm human. No, it's because you're pretty. <laughs> I was actually trying to talk to that old lady who walked by, but once you turned around, there was no going back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thanks for not making things awkward. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I treat everyone nicely until I have reason not to. That's good customer service. Sure, but it's not just for the job, you know. That's just me. I am to, to what? To, to I don't to, I don't know. To, to, to a hatch I to a hatchery? To a threesome? What? <laughs> no, we we're not. Well ready who's for the a third party? Yet. I don't understand what's going on. Where here. were you going? You were going to the hatchery, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So Just invite him. Sure. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you come to my place later? <laughs> I'd love to hear more about what college is all about in this world. Then you found the right person for the job. I can't promise anything right now, but maybe I'll see you another time. For sure. I'd also have to finish this up here, but after that I'm free. Alright, we have another side character to go to, get to, to go have, have a scene with later. Yeah, <laughs> apparently. Alright, I'll let you know. I'm here all day today and tomorrow, so it shouldn't be hard to find me. Great. I have to get going now, but I'll be sure to let you know if anything's up. Sure. See ya. Here we are again. Oh, hey! It's me! Yeah. <laughs> Adine showed you? up! Hey, it's Lonnie, right? What are you doing here? Oh, I just came by to drop these off. Drop what off? The stolen eggs. I figured the hatcher would want them back. Oh, I was actually going to get those from the police department later. I'm so glad that they got back safely. Oh, lady, stop chewing my leg. <laughs> it's tasty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, uh, I was about to go inside, so I'll take those off your hands. Thanks for bringing them here. No problem. Yay, yeah. extraordinary. <laughs> extraordinary. Yeah. Got an achievement. Woo. We have done an excellent job. Uh. Uh. All right. 
Um, so what do we want to do here? Do you want to try and see if the witness is more forthcoming with Lorem not missing? Yeah, uh, I think that, that was the plan, right? Yeah, yeah. okay. Lorem might even be there. Right. Still Shit. Who played Ipsum? I don't know. It uh, was... I think it might have been Tim. Is, is it Tim? Alright. Cool. So it's Alex. Apparently. <laughs> Can I help you? You must be Ipsum, is that right? Sure. I'm working with the police and hoped you could answer a few questions. Because I've responded to your call for witnesses about last night, right? Yes. Alright, what do you want to know? Can you tell me what happened? Sure. I was running an experiment in my home laboratory and waiting for it to finish. Around 2 a.m., I suddenly hear a few bangs outside. They remind me of small explosions, such as from gunpowder of an amount that would fit in a gun cartridge, but we don't actually have those, so I'm not sure. <laughs> it sounded like they were coming from just around the corner. I see. Did nothing about this seem unusual to you? Not really. I know I've caused a few similar disturbances with my experiments before. If someone else decided to take up home experimentation, they certainly have my approval. Nerd! <laughs> Besides, I wasn't in any position to abandon the experiment that was running at the time, or else it could have had a similar outcome. Everyone experiments in college. <laughs> I don't think he's in college, though. Thank you. I think that'll be all. No problem. And you have no idea this round that he's Lauren's roommate. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Thanks for all your help. I'll take care of the remaining tasks, so you can take the rest of the day off. I'm sure you have things to do other than helping the police department. It's no problem, really. My trip to your world wasn't supposed to be a vacation. Alright then. I'll see you next time. See you. When you wanna be you. <laughs> Alright. Alright. After this fateful day, I was glad to finally have some sort of respite. I wandered into the kitchen as I considered the night's dinner. Should I cook something or order out? When I returned to the living room, I suddenly found my strength leaving me and collapsed to the floor. I get lies! No, nope, we're going to skip this whole scene because uh, yeah. we've already seen it. Alright. Oh, mm -hmm. We've been there, done that. Exposition! Bye! It was me and then it wasn't. Seems like you've seen me before. Yep. Yeah. Bye. As you wish. So really, the two of them <coughs> don't discuss wibbly wobbly timey wimey bullshit. I mean, they do. Yeah. But we already we've, seen it, so we don't need to see it we've again. Been there, done that. All right. Cool. Nothing for me to do this morning. I guess they don't need me at the police department. Not that I mind. And boom.